Hello and uh, welcome. So for the last few days in quarantine, I've been messing with this old HP 5890 gas chromatograph and I'd like to share some of my uh, work and analysis with you here. Since I still can't find a standard for multiple compound, I'll only be able to perform a qualitative analysis by uh, measuring the retention time of different solvent in the same analytical conditions, I can quantify a few commercially available uh, molecules. So here's the methanol I've been using and uh, for dilution you can see how clean it is. For example, here's uh, toluene. Here is acetone. Here's p-xylene with uh, toluene contamination. And this is uh, hexane. Now, I'd like to bring your attention to the effect of the temperature on the resolution. Here is a full analyte mix I've prepared and ran at 220 degrees Celsius and here it is at 160. And here's a zoomed in view so you can see better. The uh, chromatograph can ramp the temperature depending on how volatiles the analytes of interest are. So lower temperatures give better results for volatiles molecules like acetone, but higher temperature would be best for things like naphthalene. Now, I wanted to try something a little more complex, and this is uh, 87 grade gasoline from the gas station. Gasoline is a very complex mix of hydrocarbon, and I was successfully able to identify a few of them and compare them with uh, professional results. And since the composition of gas does not vary much, I could use it for further identification, but this has to be studied further as my detector can only reveal UV absorbance at a specific wavelength and property conditions and response can vary greatly from one setup to another. But I can estimate the position of a few alkane and uh, get a pretty good idea of the major components. And so, based on previous tests, I can identify hexane, benzene, toluene, hexaline in this gasoline sample. Next, I try to analyze the smelly fluid of a citrus skin and see what makes it flammable. So I use dichloromethane to extract as much organic as possible for the analysis. I suspected a lot of esters I'm trying to get a retention time for ethyl acetate from MEK substitute from the store, which is obviously full of uh, other shit. Anyway, my first injection reveal a large main peak and uh, several others at uh, low retention time. Obviously, there is something that eludes very fast and is probably very small, even faster than DCM. And then the other molecule before the larger one. So again, decreasing the temperature will give us a better resolution of this area. So then at 140 degrees, we can see there is actually two molecules, one of which I suspect to be water, but uh, not sure. These little ones I suspect to be esters, and this large one, I have reason to believe it could be limonene. But uh, again, without a standard, no way to be absolutely sure. Just to be sure I wasn't missing uh, any heavier things, I concentrated my extract and ran it at 260 degrees, but uh, nothing else really showed up. Anyway, I already ran through a whole tank of helium, and that ain't cheap, so I guess I'll calm down a bit for now. This was a fun project though, and I hope you've enjoyed it as well. If you did, thumbs up. Please subscribe, rate, comment. Constructive criticism is always welcome, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.